Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Neil Nonkindry. Uh, Neil, apart from everything else you do, you also write Hindi operas. Not really. My question to you. No, no, I don't do Hindi operas. You write. I write operas, but not one in Hindi yet. But do you plan to do so? I want to, not in Hindi, in Sanskrit. In Sanskrit, yeah. that's interesting. Why so? And I want to do the story of the Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. Why, why Sanskrit? Do you have a... Because somebody uh, asked me. Do you have a mastery over Sanskrit no, no, better no, than no, Hindi? No, or what? I, I, you see, I, write, I can write in any language as long as I understand what the libretto, mm -hmm. the libretto, that's what they use. The, the term is called libretto, which is the lyrics. They, they would call that lyrics for yeah. a song. But the, uh, I haven't got the right libretto yet, uh, but I would like to do it. Absolutely. You were recently... Uh, you know, engaged, uh, invited to perform at the music launch of Shah Rukh Khan's new movie, Happy yeah. New Year, uh, where you rendered one of the film's songs, uh, songs in your own uh, style, style yeah. I mean, in the typical style of the Silong Chamber Choir. Uh, my question to you, uh, you have not yet uh, sort of composed music for Bollywood. Uh, any offer? Do you plan I to do so? Offers. I've had offers before. Uh, uh, it didn't work because it, it didn't appeal to me. Because the storyline didn't suit me. I had been asked once also to do another launch, but it didn't suit me, so I didn't But do one it. doesn't know what uh, is in store in the days ahead. We don't know what. I mean, with, with Shah Rukh Khan's movie, uh, I felt I liked the tune and I liked the words, you know. And I asked Kinsai. And apparently, apparently, Vishal Shekhar came and Vishal particularly came and said that your rendition was uh, better than his own. Well, I, so he didn't come and tell me that. He didn't tell me that. But, Who told uh, you that? Uh, well, he, no, I haven't told anyone that, but <laughs> the news is going around because he, I think he told somebody. Oh, no, yeah, somebody called me and they said that, yeah, they heard him say that, but he hasn't said it to me per, uh, personally. Okay. But, you know, I think he's written a brilliant song. Mm -hmm. I like it. Now, you see, I mean, like uh, the northeast of India, uh, we are known in the outside world as a land of constant turmoil. Yes. Uh, this is something you faced uh, yourself when you, when you returned from yeah. uh, London after many years, when you found that people couldn't go out after sundown. Uh, there was a curfew, there was militant-related violence. Uh, I mean, uh, how does this kind of a scenario impact on a singer, composer, songwriter, conductor like you? And who, of course, hails from the Hills from the northeast. Northeast, yeah. I, I remember the first time I came, I said, you know, in my heart, I said, I want to replace the sound of the guns with the sound of music, as they say. So, which actually did happen, you know. Uh, soon after I came, things did change because the curfew used to be around six. People didn't go out. Even without curfew, people still were afraid to go out. Now the shops are open till late. We're having international concerts happening. So things have changed as, as, long, as far as Shillong is concerned. Uh, but, you know, as a musician, one of the ways in which I, I manage to be creative is I don't get too involved with everything. I read the papers, I come out when I need to, I stand up for certain things when I need to, but I don't put my nose but into do everything. You, do you get perturbed, do you get sad when you go abroad to perform? People ask you, oh, you're from the Northeast, it's a very disturbed no, place. No. I don't get sad because, you know, other places, they might not have guns and sort of outward uh, problems uh, so, you know, blatantly as us, but they could be suffering, like the West is suffering from loneliness. Loneliness. Yeah, that's another... Uh, you know, very sad thing that's happening everywhere. Absolutely. Uh, now, now, one of your lead singers uh, started as a young girl of about 12. Yeah. And today, perhaps, she is about 20, uh, yeah, young girl of 20. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I mean, like, how did it happen? Because uh, apparently, this young girl can sing in several languages. Yeah, yeah. She's singing uh, in this concert that's happening now. She's starting with Italian, then she's singing in Latin, and then she's singing in Hindi. She's then singing. In, when she went to China, she sang in Chinese. So she came to me at the age of 11 and a half. She hadn't turned 12. And that was the time when I was asked to do a show for Present Kalam. And he particularly wanted children. So that's when I asked somebody if he knew of any good child singer. Okay. So she, then they, she came because of that. And then from that day only we discovered that she was very talented mm -hmm. and she stuck with it. And she's not the only person uh, in your, in your uh, 
uh, choir or in a troupe uh, who, who has come to singing quite by chance? Some of them came by chance. <laughs> they, they came, I think her cousin, who's also in the choir, she came actually to deliver something for Iba. Okay. So I said, come <laughs> over, have a cup of tea. And we got to know her, and then she started singing as well. So not everybody is, you know, there's, everybody has their own story. Mm -hmm. And it would take a lot more for me to tell so, that. So, do you think more kind of stories like yours, that is, I mean, I mean the Silong Chamber Choir, yeah. needs to come from the Northeast, needs to happen in the Northeast to change its image once and for all? Yeah, I think so. I think we need to have more positive stories. Genuine, not, you know, not made up. I would love to see that. I would love to see more positive stories. I think that the problem here is that sometimes we... Even with, within music, I think that, you know, we have to find our own voice. Whether even if we do cover versions, like I said to you, I don't do a cover version, usually. I might do one or two. Yeah. Uh, but you lend your own, we tend own touch. To, to be, you know, yeah, you make even somebody else's work, make it your own. And you have to be very daring to do that. Uh, can, do, do you remember offhand any one particular somebody else's work which uh, you loved retouching? That I love retouching? Yeah. Well, I uh, from Bollywood or from anywhere? Anyway, Bollywood. Well, normally let, I like let's Bollywood. Do, let's talk about Bollywood. The, the Bollywood I love because they all appreciate it, you know. I love it. You know, Shankar, Eshan and Loy, you know, they, I've redone a few of their stuff. And they've loved it. Uh, there's one song that I love doing. And it's not a very popular song. It came from a film called uh, Fam We Are F Family. We Are Family, I think it's called. I can't remember the name of the movie, but... The song it begins with the sunny, sunny, uh, sunny, sunny, sunny sagar, something like that. I can't remember the name of the song. I'm not very good with lyrics. I'm yeah. good with tunes. But that is one song I just loved working on. And in fact, I even wrote it for the Vienna Chamber Orchestra. I see. So the, okay. we had the Austrians playing with me, and they also loved. They loved place. it. Yeah. And the other one which I've done recently, I've redone it, revamped it. This is Yadu Ki Bharat. Okay. And this time I've written for a huge symphony orchestra with trumpets and trombones and, and uh, kettle drums and, you know, 16 first violins, 10 second violins and, you know, that whole thing. So if it is it's implemented, it will be like a, you know, a, a sort of 60 to 80 piece orchestra I've written for. That's, that's huge. That's huge with that's the singers. Huge. So that's that will be huge. really that's exciting huge. to see. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, continue with your exciting walk. Thank uh, you. Wish you all the best. Neil Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.